In this tutorial I'm going to cover the spacing tool. So to start let's create a path that we want to space these objects along. And I'll just go into this line. Let's just convert these to um, smooth corner points and just to give it a little more three-dimensionality I'll just move, the, uh, move these around vertically. Alright, and now let's create the object we want to space. So this could be any object. It could be a geometry you create. For this example, I'll just go ahead with uh, and create a box. Create a box like that. And I'll just turn off my edge faces so we can see this a little bit better. Okay, so with the spacing tool, um, it's actually located uh, under Tools, Align, Spacing Tool. And there's quite a few things you can do here. So there's other things I would look at, like aligning objects to cameras, aligning objects to the normal of a surface. Um, and sort of other things. You can see there's little descriptions of what each of these does as well. For this example, we'll use the spacing tool. So for this one, you just select the object and then you either, yeah, you pick the point path or if you have points, you can pick points. In this case, we have a path, so we'll select that, pick the path. You can see it uh, spaces three of those along the line. You can then change the number um, and you can do this by count or you can do it by distance. So if you're doing a handrail and you want all the posts to be within three feet of each other, you can do that. Uh, turn off the count in that case. You can also say how far you want the um, offset at the start or the end. You could do it center. There's all these different ways to space, so it's really up to what you want to do. Um, and then if you want, you can also change, like if um, you want it to divide evenly with no objects at the ends, for example, you could do that. And then the other thing is this context here. So you could do it by following, which will take the normal and kind of uh, do what's called banking around the edge there. So if you want it to bank as it goes along the tool, uh, the line, you could do that, or you could do it where it's just always vertical. 